say that I've never felt older in my life. <laughs> Normally, I would be all over the place, jumping up and down, Aww. and I can't move of all days that you're here. You, you couldn't be more adorable. There are some people in the riffraff room that we always, when we have overflow, that don't make it in here. And um, there's, there's two girls in there that are going crazy. Um, Kristen and Laura, come on in here. Kristen and Laura. They were crying the whole time. Really? So they're gonna come sit in here. Aww. Look at their t-shirts, aren't they so cute? You're 15, and yeah. you don't even, your CD is now, people found you how on, on YouTube? Yeah, I, I mean, I was in a singing competition like a, a while back. I was 12 years old, and uh, my friends and family that couldn't make it um, wanted to see me, so I posted those videos on YouTube, uh, and I guess it just kind of blew On up. YouTube, and uh, just for your family to see, and yeah. now 80 million hits later, yeah. 80 million views people have been, and, and then Justin Timberlake and Usher are fighting over getting ya, and you ended up going with Usher. Yes. And uh, what did Usher have to say uh, as far as advice for you? Um, just Definitely just to stay humble. I mean, that's probably the most important thing. If I just stay humble and, and stay on the right path, anything's possible. Exactly, because you have the talent, you have the charisma, you're just as cute as you can possibly, <laughs> you couldn't be cuter. Thank you're, you. I mean, you may be peeking right now, be careful. Um, <laughs> that's, that's how cute you are. I can't imagine you getting cuter. Um, but but you really do have to stay because this business is yeah. crazy roller coaster. So stay just really grounded. And uh, the girls just love you. That's that's Thank exciting, you. right? You like yes, that? Yes, it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Now, and you have, a, and it's not cockiness. It's confidence. I like that because cockiness is uh, uh, arrogant and obnoxious. Yes. But you're very confident. Thank Did you. Did you ask Rihanna out? Is that true? It, it did happen. You asked Rihanna out. Yes, I asked her out. Um, it was like at How this... How old is Rihanna? Um, like 20 or I something? I just went in. I just went in. Uh. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to go in. You just got to do it. Yeah. And what did Rihanna say? Um, I mean, I'm not dating her, so... I mean, oh, okay. That, that's fine. But you'll be friendly with her. Yes, I will be yeah. friendly. Maybe in a few years. You're going to wait for a little while till yeah. you kind of... Maybe she'll date you later. Yeah, maybe. You never know. Never know. Yeah. God, you're just fantastic, aren't Thank you? you? <laughs> you're really great. How was your Thanksgiving, and uh, do you cook? Don't cook very well, mm -hmm. uh, but my Thanksgiving was great. I spent it with a bunch of friends. Uh, I couldn't get home for Thanksgiving because there's a pandemic, and we have to quarantine for 15 days. Yeah. Um, but I had a really good time. Haley's a really good cook. Oh, she is? Yes. So did she make a turkey? Uh, she made a turkey, she made a bunch of different stuff. She made turkey, she made uh, stuffing, she made a bunch of stuff. She's a really good cook. She Did she cook in that outfit? She didn't cook in that outfit. She, uh, cooked, she put that on after she cooked. She, I'm sure she probably cooked in a different outfit, but um, she looks great, obviously. She always looks great. Yeah. But now, so she made like all, did, did other people bring things or did she make it for everybody? Uh, everybody kind of brought um, an item. Um, and uh, I have a chef too, which I'm really blessed about mm -hmm. um, to have, and so uh, she cooked a pretty mean meal. So, so did Haley cook that turkey? Did she, your chef cooked it and she posed with it? Uh, no, Haley actually did oh, cook that. Oh, she did? That. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. Well, you're lucky that she's a good cook and that she likes to cook. Yeah, um, I really am. I'm looking at your, you, your beautiful new tattoo. You have yeah. a, and I saw the documentary, which I loved. Uh -huh. um, but I know what this means, but explain what the rose means to you. Well, the rose uh, is kind of like, um, I guess, to be honest, I made up a meaning because it really, <laughs> I just like the way it looks. But um, <laughs> it's kind of like finding the beauty with it within kind of like the roughness of like... It's on the it other side. side? Oh, yep. it's this side. You don't, you don't even know where your tattoo is. Yeah, I know. It's a problem. But honestly, Haley doesn't want me to get any more neck ta tattoos. No, you have plenty. Yeah. So you have a hummingbird, which I love hummingbirds, yeah. and I think they, they're good luck, yeah. and, and a rose, and then no more neck tattoos. 
No more neck tattoos, that's what Haley says. Yeah, well, yeah. that's what she says. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Did you do that without her permission, the rose? You surprised her with that? Um, no, well, <laughs> you guys are crazy. Um, <laughs> no, I, she, she knew that I wanted to get it. She was like, wait a month, and if you still want to get it, then get it, and so that's what mm -hmm. I did. So you waited a month? Waited a month, yeah. Exactly a month. Yeah. And then 30 days, you went and got it. Yeah, and then I was Did like, she have tattoos? She has a few tattoos, yes. She, her whole hand is tatted. So, oh, really? Yeah, like these little cute little dainty, f like, flower things. How old were you when, when you first got your first tattoo? When I got my first tattoo, I was 16. And what was it? And it was a little bird, like, this small that's now covered up by a giant tattoo here. Like, so my whole stomach is tattooed. Oh, my God. All right, guys, you're crazy. <laughs> um, but no, this little, uh, I have a little bird here. You can't even see I it. I can see it. It's like, yeah, anyways. And then you decided to cover the little bird? Uh, I decided that I wanted to be fully tattooed from my arms down to my torso. Um, I just really like expressing myself through art. Um, I've always been pretty cre creative, so. Yeah, yes, you're very creative. Thank you. So you're, so, but you don't have your, I saw that you're saving tattoos on your back for when you have kids. Yeah. That's what you want to do. Yeah. So you'll do like a family portrait of all of you sitting in front of a fireplace, you and Haley and the kids. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. that would be great. Like yeah. framed. You should actually do a tattoo and make it look like it's in a frame. Yeah. On an easel. Okay, I'll yeah. do that. Yeah. For you. Um, how many kids are you going to have and when? I'm going to have uh, as many as Haley is wishing to push out. Mm -hmm. I'd love to have myself a little tribe. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, it's her body and whatever she wants to do. Does she want a lot? She wants, I think she wants to have a few. What are y'all waiting for? What's, well, you know you love kids. You, you're so good with kids. Thank you for saying that. What's I, the hold up? I think the issue, there's not really an issue, um, but I think Haley still has some things she wants to accomplish um, as a woman, and I think she just wants to, um, yeah, I think she just is not ready yet. I think that's okay. I think that's fantastic. That's, you know what? I was hoping that was the answer, because I know how much you love kids, and you're going to be such a great dad. Thank you. But um, I think that's really important, because how old is she? Uh, she's 24. Yeah. No, she yeah. should wait until she's ready she's and ready, get everything yeah. done that she wants to get done. Yeah. So you took a road trip, which yes. a lot of people are doing. I mean, that's the one good thing. When you look at a positive that comes out of the pandemic, people are doing things they would normally never do. Yeah. And you obviously tour a lot, but yep. you don't get to go out and do things. And you and Haley went on a road trip yeah. in your tour bus? Yep, yep. Um, so it wasn't too much. It wasn't like we roughed it too hard. But um, we definitely enjoyed ourselves. Got to travel across North America. We went all the way home to, to Canada on the bus. Um, and yeah, it was a good time. So and, and what did you see? What did you do that you hadn't gotten a chance to do before? Well, I got to, um, what did I do? I spent a couple nights. So, I guess we parked in some RV parks, which were a little sketchy. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's I didn't RVs. I we make then, it out alive. And then you have a tour bus in an RV exactly. park. Exactly. So it was, it was a little weird. We had some guy just walk on our tour bus. Uh, we had to tell him that that's kind of not acceptable. Um, <laughs> and yeah, that's my story. Yeah. I'm sticking to it. I like the big sip. It's one of my favorite things is the big sip. Uh huh. So you went on a you went on a jet ski, yeah. And the, the jet ski is out in the middle of a lake. Where is this, Canada? So yeah, uh, it was um, it was still cold. Um, it was in Canada, and I don't know. This story isn't that exciting, but yes, I, was, I was trapped out on a jet ski, and I had to swim back in like glacier water. It was it was pretty Wait, epic. Yeah, so do you guys have a video or something? Of no. This? But like, how do you even know about this? Who told you? About I this? don't know. We have spies. I gotcha. don't know. Um, I found this out in the, in the meeting this morning, but they said the jet ski broke down, so then they sent a boat out to get you, but then the boat broke down. And the down. Bro broke down. So then the guy says, you all have to swim in freezing cold water for like a half a mile. Yeah. I mean, that's dangerous. It was, it was dangerous. Although you like freezing cold water, because you did a video. Yeah, I, I do the ice plunge regardless every day, because it's good for your body. You do it every day? Pretty much every day, yeah. Ice plunge in, in like an ice bath or like just cold water? Uh, ice bath. That's like a, the Wim Hof method. You know about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. His yeah. breathing. Yeah. Wim Hof is, he's like, where's he from again? Um, I don't know. Oh, yeah. But we'll find out. 
because um, Andy's telling me you have to go to break. So we're okay. going to find out where he's from. And, but it's supposed to be really, really good for you to shock your body like that. Love that. Yeah. All right, we'll find out about Wim Hof. We'll come back. Let's it's very it. important. What? He's from the Netherlands, Justin. Dang. Yeah. Is it Wim Hof? Wim, Wim Hof, but he has these breathing techniques, and he's, he's a G. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are we still on TV? Okay. 